YouTube, it's Anne at Bella here today and today I'm going to be doing two art therapy magazine reviews, one Colour Calm Create review and one um, Art Therapy Presents review. The first Art Therapy magazine um, review I'm going to do is last week's and it's issue 35 and it comes with these three very, very, very lovely fine liners. We have a salmon peach, we have an ivory white and we also have a lilac, though this one could be said to sort of be creamy linked with yellow. Um, I've had to start using my second box that I got when I bought two of the same issue that the box came with. So I'm just going to put those um, fine liners in there with the rest of them that have come so far. Um, in here I've got four watercolours, one, two, three, four, and the... Um, three um, art therapy pencils. I've also got um, two other pencils that have, um, I think it's one of the metallic pencil, or is it two? Yeah, it's one of the metallic pencil that came with the Frozen um, Art Therapy Presents Disney colouring characters. And then I've just got some regular um, colouring pencils at the top. So that's that. On to issue 35. Let's crack it open and have a look. It's some really, really, really good mixed media tips here. Inside this issue, love tokens, violet is the colour. Staying connected, colour me calm. So flowers, hearts, because this is a Valentine themed issue. Birds, keys and locks, no questions asked. Lords and ladies and love. Seeing it's a marriage um, ceremony in the colour by numbers. Okay, then we have this week's issue, which is issue 36. And I'm going to get out the pencil colour colour chart for you all. And we have 110. which is here, and it's banana yellow. So let's have a look and see if it's particularly banana -y. So in it goes. That's that one. And then we have 132. That's French plum. I love the names of these shades, it's awesome. And then we have 182. So let's flick through. 182, and that's flesh. Oh, lovely. So that can go in there. Close that. So that's that. Here we go. And it talks about creating a luminescence, which is cool, and colour contamination control. Do the dark colour, then the light colour, not the light colour, then the dark. Okay, apparently. When a lighter colour is dragged onto a dark one, it is less noticeable than when a dark colour smudges into a light one. So do your dark colour then your light. So dark first, then light. Great tip. Beautiful colour wheel there. And all about burnishing. Roll up, roll up. And this is the circus issue. Magenta. That's also um, used in printer ink or printer toner if you're American. Ups and downs. Colour me calm. So we've got these lovely circus tops. We've got the carousel. Circus tents, big tops, patterns, mystery, fireworks, and the lovely letter C. And the mystery is a clown, and actually that's quite creepy. So that's that. Then we've got the Sleeping Beauty Art Therapy um, Presents Disney Princesses. And we've got um, Sleeping Beauty this time instead of Frozen. And... This is four ninety nine. Um, you get, I think it's twenty two. 
So we can open it out and it will tell us, Dear Artist, 22 Sleeping Beauty Patterns. And you get six colouring pencils. One is metallic. So let's flip this over and see if it will actually... So you get a nice metallic one, which is great. So let's budge up all of those, move up fine liners. And there's the two pastel pencils. There we go. That's that. We get a nice yellow in there. Turquoisey green. Oh, they blend well. Turquoisey greeny blue. Pink. Purple. And a peach. Okay. So, I'm loving the fact that there are lots of different patterns in here. There's actually rather a lack of Sleeping Beauty in here. I believe there's like her outline. There's the castle, which looks epic. The colour. There's lots of roses because, as you know, her name is Briar Rose. Flip it over next time. It's Cinderella, and there are your pencils, and probably one of those is going to be um, metallic as well. So it seems to be five um, colouring pencils and one metallic in the pack there. I will flip over, um, so we've got advertising on issue 35 issue 36 which was uh, circus themed and on the back of the circus theme 36 we've got next issue is three markers to use with our gallery of psychedelic designs so that should be really cool and look got some nice chunky markers with that one so that's all the art therapy stuff this time Sorry it's been so long to actually do a review, I do apologise. Um, but as those of you who've been watching my channel, Doctor Who has kind of monopolised it a bit. Okay, I have some great news to report that my Butterflies to Colour is now completely finished. And I'm going to just quickly whip through them. So this half was already done. I did that half. There we go. It's looking cool. Really, really pleased with my Monarch Butterflies. Love the blending. Peacock, the red could have been stronger, but overall I am pleased, particularly with that one, actually. Um, my Moroccan orange tips. Five bar sword tails. Queen Alexandra's bird wings. 88s. Swallow tails I'm particularly pleased with. Purple shot coppers look brilliant. The Lesser Purple Emperors are finally done, though I think the purple could have been a bit stronger, So, it, but that's with me using um, colouring pencils rather than watercolours. Um, Southern Festoons. Marsh Fertilities, I use my um, art therapy markers on them. Um, I.O. Moths, I used watercolours, fine liners and um, art therapy markers as well. I think they're brilliant. And my Atlas Moth looks absolutely amazing. It was fine liners, watercolours and um, art therapy large markers. And then these were done using just watercolours and black fine liners. Though I'm not quite sure. I think I used my watercolours. So I was really pleased with my Malagascan Sunset Moths. Absolutely pleased. So that's the end of that. I really enjoyed that book. And it is kind of unusual because you actually end up with two lovely pictures of them so that was epic okay so here are all the pencils you should have from your color calm collection um this is the november issue it came out this week it comes with one silver 
metallic silver pencil and three um, colouring pencils. You get a dark green, a blue and a red and you also get some gems as well. They've gone from f they've gone from five regular colouring pencils down to three regular colouring pencils and a metallic pencil and some gems. So this is issue five. Um, using your metallic silver pencil crayon and festive red gems to add a little shimmer and sparkle to your colourings. You can also try lightly blending two or more pencil colours together to create a burnished effect. So, yeah, I'm still loving Colour Calm Create. I really do like the designs and the fact that they do these wonderful tangles as well on the other side. We've got Mandala's Festive Patterns and Tangles. I love the fact that you also get a nice range of 64 um, designs inside. So you've got all sorts of things there. Bubbles. Christmas is not as much about opening out presents as opening our hearts. And that's very true. Oh, I'm loving that. I think I might do that first. Cute little reindeer. Wreath. Oh, look, doves. So, yeah, it's pretty good. This issue. Wait, we're getting that. Penguin. And then Christmas colouring at the back. So, that's that. And there are those. And next time, on the 31st of December, we've got Eastern Delight and free colouring pencils. And again, you appear to get a gold and then three colouring pencils. And does it mention gems at all? No, it just says free colouring pencils. So you get one gold and three. So I guess they've cut down. So that's that. I hope you've enjoyed this review. And I'm going to leave you with my IO moths. So...